Okay, this is the fourth and final test for the food test that you guys will be doing, and today we're going to be looking at protein. As I did with the other ones, I've put protein solution inside the test tube to get uh, our positive test result um, to know if protein was present, what would actually occur. All right, the first step is you need to add one pipette full of sodium hydroxide. Now it's really important because you've got to add two reagents in this case that you make sure you get one of each bottle. They are labelled sodium hydroxide. The other reagent is copper sulphate. Okay, so make sure that you that they are in separate trays. Make sure you get one of each. When you do the protein test, it's important that you add these in the correct order. Okay, and the first step is you add one pipette full of the sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a um, hazardous chemical, so make sure you are careful with that. That you play, as I did there, you place it inside and then squeeze. You don't want it getting onto your fingers. And with any time you're using chemicals, what would be the other safety gear you guys should wear? Goggles. Yeah, goggles. Good. I've added the sodium hydroxide. There is another part to it. You need to give it a bit of a shake. Okay, it's important that you agitate it between each um, addition of reagents. And then you add the second reagent, and this is important to add it in this order. The second reagent is copper sulfate. You guys have seen this before. It's that blue solution. But you only need about three or four drops of this. So the sodium hydroxide, one pipette full. Mix, then three to four drops. I'll do a little bit more because I've got quite a lot of the copper sulfate and then give it a mix. Can everyone see the colour change that's occurring? Yeah. I might add All right, what colour has it gone? Purple. Purple. Now that, that protein solution is quite thick so it's not mixing evenly but it is mixing. When you add the copper sulfate solution to some other things, it'll automatically go blue because the copper sulfate's blue. Okay? If protein is present though, it will go either, now this is because this is a strong solution, it has gone quite purple. However, it can go a, quite a dark blue. Alright, so I'll just show the copper sulfate again. Alright, can everyone see the colour of the copper sulfate? And you guys have used that before. That with the copper sulfate, if it, it won't, if it stays that sort of shade blue, it hasn't got protein. It can go a really deep shade of blue, or the purple. So that blue, deep blue to a purple, is the indicator of a positive test result for protein. 